What if I told you that the glitz and glamour of Las Vegas, the city that never sleeps, could be yours to explore for less than three hundred dollars? Sound like a jackpot, right? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Julian here. I kick off my latest adventure with a round trip bus ticket to Vegas, and it was a steal at just twenty-five dollar. Now. Get this. Turns out our ride was actually a van. The driver told us the bus broke down, and without the switch, we could have been waiting for hours. But hey, no biggies. The ride was pretty smooth. In the seat, surprisingly roomy. I even snagged a friend seat, which was awesome because of the views. Absolutely breathtaking. Hey. Are you enjoying the Vegas journey so far? If you are, don't forget to give this a video thumbs up. This really helps out a lot. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and turn on those notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the fun. Welcome to Vegas. You know what they say about Vegas, right? It's like the world glaciers a dog playground, where the lights are brighter, the beds are bolder, and the story are well. Let's just say what happened in Vegas stays in Vegas, except for this vlog, of course. Vegas is the only place where you can see the Eiffel Tower, take a gondola ride, and watch a volcano erupt, all before lunch. The first stop with our van crew was Chinatown in Vegas for some lunch. I've been craving some legit Chinese noodle ever since I landed in the state. The place we hit up, packed with people, super popular. Had to share a table, but no worries. It's all part of the experience, right? So I went for those two pork noodles. The soup was light but flavorful, and the seasoning is on point. The noodle had this awesome chewy texture, and the pork was just melt in your mouth tender, buzzing with flavors. Overall, I'm giving this meal a solid 7.5 out of 10. Definitely a must try if you're in the area. So in Vegas, I decided to stay for two nights and three days, and get this, it was only twenty-five bucks a night. Seriously, what a steal, right? But let me tell you something: that short time, never enough to soak in all of the Vegas. I was torn between spending my night out on the town, taking in those amazing views, or catching some cool shows. Ended up choosing the great outdoors. Vegas by night is something else. And here's the crazy fact: if I stay just one more night, it would jump up to around two hundred and thirteen dollar each per night. Yeah, you heard that right. Turns out there are days when the prices are total bargain. So timing is everything here. So if you wanna travel, make sure you double check it a month prior. So timing is everything here. Keep that in mind for your own Vegas adventure. Standing there with the fountain soaring and the light shimmering against the night sky, I couldn't help but think this is Vegas. It is more than just a fountain show. It is a testament to the beauty and extravagance this city holds. This stunning spectacle is completely free, a priceless experience in the heart of Vegas.
We are hitting the Vegas Strip at night and man, it's like a whole different planet. This place is just buzzing. You've got people everywhere, all here for a good time, each with their own crazy Vegas plans. It's like one huge party on the street. And the traffic is wild. Horns honking, engine revving, it's non-stop action. And the neon lights, they are everywhere, lighting up the night and making everything look super cool. It's like Vegas is showing off and honestly, it's pretty awesome. Just walking through here with all the lights and the noise, you really feel like you're at the heart of something huge. Vegas isn't just a city, it's like its own universe that's alive 24-7. I call it Vampire City. And I'm right here in the middle of it all, bringing it to you guys. Let's see what else this city has in store for us. It's got pretty chilly, way more than I expected. Definitely bring a jacket if you are planning to explore after dark around December, January, February, March. I don't know about March, but definitely February. But the cold? Totally worth it for the vibe out here. The music along the strip is everywhere. It's like each block has its own soundtrack. From street performers to the beats spilling out of the club and bars, there is this constant rhythm to the city that's just so alive. And the building, oh man, they are just incredible. Each one got its own style, like they are all trying to outdo each other, you know what I mean? You got these towering, glizzy hotel right next to these intricate themed structures. It's like walking through a movie set, no joke. Vegas architecture is not just building, it's art.